The formation is trimmed to level and the geomembrane placed into position beneath the proposed line of permatrude. A concrete bedding is placed directly on top of the geomembrane. One meter long permatrude units are set to line and level on the concrete bed. The ends of each permatrude come together to form circular outlets. The bedding is scraped away in front of each outlet before the concrete begins to harden. Universal connection units are fitted at one meter intervals where the concrete bed has been removed. Each unit is designed to insert neatly into the formed circular outlet from the permatrude channel. A concrete haunch is placed at the back of the permatrude and a curb can be placed as shown for perimeter applications. Alternatively, permatrude can receive runoff from both sides if installed within a level hard standing. Green permavoid biomat units are installed adjacent to the permatrude run. They are joined to the black standard permavoid units using unique butterfly shaped permatize. The concrete haunch is completed using the permavoid biomats as permanent formwork. The completed permavoid tank installation is encapsulated with geomembrane. An initial layer of subbase, graded to the required levels, is applied prior to laying traditional surfacing layers. Cover plates are inserted over the channel ends to divert the runoff into the main permatrude treatment chambers. The ductile iron gratings are fitted to complete the system. Correctly installed, the permatrude achieves a D400 load class rating. The completed installation is located immediately beneath the car park surface layers. The high strength and performance of permavoid allows the entire drainage system to be placed above the formation level, replacing expensive imported aggregates. The permavoid system is also suitable for areas trafficked by heavy goods vehicles. Consider oil dripping from the sump of a stationary vehicle. When it rains, the surface water carries the accumulated oils and silts towards the permatrude grating. As the runoff enters the permatrude, the flow is immediately slowed and a baffle traps floating oils within the treatment chamber, while silts are deposited and retained at the base of the chamber. Clear runoff water flows beneath the baffle and over the weir and out of the circular outlet. Once through the permatrude, the treated runoff flows into the green permavoid biomat units via the universal connector. These units are similar in structure to standard permavoid units, but include a unique oil trapping floating mat. In the unlikely event of oil passing through the permatrude, the permavoid biomat units provide a further level of treatment by trapping any residual oils on the floating mat. As the mat floats, it is ideally positioned to trap surface oils and to allow clean water to pass even during heavy storm events. Looking deep into the structure of the biomat geotextile at microscopic level, it's evident that not only does the floating mat effectively trap oil particles, it also provides a self-maintaining ecosystem with bacteria digesting the trapped hydrocarbons with protozoa regulating the bacteria. The air layer above the biomat encourages microbes to form a biofilm on top of the mat. This uses the trapped hydrocarbons as a nutrient source, removing the pollutants through biodegradation. The self-regulating nature of the ecosystem ensures the permavoid biomat effectively removes residual oils through its entire design life without the need for ongoing maintenance.